Will magic without instructions be a wonder or a blunder? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we are demystifying more magic tricks with zero instruction. That's right, we got our special magician outfits on, not vampires, uh -huh, magicians, uh -huh. very clearly, uh -huh, by the uh -huh. way. And a very special Robert the Mythical Party Magician is back in the building. What up? What up? There it is. The, yeah. the poses. You the gotta energy. have the, po if I don't have the costume, I've gotta have the poses. Love it. Yeah, I didn't bring my flannel, dang it. Glad to have you back, Robert. All right, let's see if we can bring home another magical win. Somehow we did it last time. Oh, well. Yeah, through magic. Yes, right. It's time for We're Making Magic Without a Single Direction. Yes, you could say we're masters of deception. Well, go on, say it. We're still waiting. All right, we're gonna be given a set of items needed to pull off a magic trick, and we'll try our best to figure out how to use them to make magic happen. There's also gonna be a decoy item or two thrown in the mix in order to try and throw us off. We'll start out with 50 points. If we get stuck during a round, we can ask for lifelines that cost points. All right, we're gonna have 10 minutes to figure out each of these tricks, and if we still haven't gotten it when the time is up, that will mean an additional point deduction of up to five points at Stevie's discretion. At the end of each round, don't worry, Robert's gonna show us how it's done. Yeah, and Robert, just to remind the people of your expertise, could you just do a little trick for oh, us? Oh, of course, of course. You see, if you take your pinky, all pinkies are attachable, detachable like that, so if you wanted to, you could just hey, do that same hey, hey, later. Hey, I mean, it's, you know. I mean, he makes it look so effortless. It's because I didn't do one of those. That's what you need after, after every trick. If we still have at least 30 points at the end of this thing, we, will. we get to pick a prize from a magical box of mystery like at the dentist. Ah, let's get started. Okay guys, you are going to use some combination of the items in front of you to perform your first magic trick. Yes. Your lifelines are as follows. One, I can tell you which item is the decoy, and by the way, there are two decoys for each round this time, for oh, one point gosh. each. We can tell you the unofficial name of the trick for two points, okay. or, and, you can ask Mythical Party Magician Robert one yes or no question for three points. Now, I'm gonna put 10 minutes on the clock, that's all the time you have, and it begins now. So you can get rid of one decoy item, and, and but, you, but you don't get rid of both of them. You just get, this is just for hydration. One at a time. That's water, but no, it's- No, no, it's Gatorade. It's bluish. It might be Powerade. I think it's just liquid. Yeah, taste it. That's a, that's a good start. It's Powerade. I you need it, you need it. Now do this trick, man. Just get a little hydrated. You need electrolytes. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, we have a balloon, why are you putting that over there? Because I know we don't need it. Yeah, but bring it back. We have a tray, is I wanna it, put it on the tray, because a tray, a tray catches the water. We have a really long needle, it's got an eye, scoop, 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 Yeah, it's. and it'll go right through you hmm? if you don't watch out. And we have a real hard boiled egg. You see that? Okay, so we only yeah. we have four items. This is real. Which means we only need two of these items. I mean, the only trick I can see happening in this world is something with this balloon and this needle. That's a trick. Does the egg float? I don't need or these. Or sink? I don't need these gloves. Can they be the decoy items? Yeah, I, I, I no, Robert, what, what's don't. the point in gloves, Robert? Is this your yes or no question? You're just asking <laughs> no, me No, 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 no. <laughs> so this is a special balloon. That if you puncture it slowly enough, it will not burst. No, I'm almost positive it's still gonna burst, but I'm saying, let's this try is, it. This is a magic balloon. Like, when was the last time you just saw somebody with a just a translucent white balloon? Like, what, what party is that gonna be for? Yeah, blow that puppy up. So we're saying, if these two are duds. I mean, if you if you puncture that, it's I gonna I think pop. you're gonna have to tie it. You wanna tie it? Now that's not easy. Um, now, why don't you just do it to yourself? Because I'm a, I, I don't trust your accuracy with you, that. You hold it, hold it over there. Let me do. It's, it's got to be tall. I'll do the puncture. Well, I'm holding it though. I'm, <laughs> I'm not holding it. I'm not holding it. Why like, are you so afraid? Because I want me to put it against be, your face. Because you're very dangerous to yourself. Fine, and do it. Oh, so, God, you didn't even try. You want to remove an item? Go as slow as you want to. No, no, I don't. Watch. I'll go so slow, just so slow. So Wet it first. It's just gonna go right through. Lube it first. Okay, I give up. Uh, we can get rid of the eggs and the Gatorade. We don't even need to know that that's Stevie, what we Stevie, we'd like to remove an item. You may get rid of the hard-boiled egg. Okay, okay. there's one of them. 
Well, but it's in the water, so for another <laughs> point, can we get rid of the water? Uh, yeah, if you want to spend another point, you can also get rid of the Gatorade. <laughs> okay, you know what? All right. I got egg all over my face. I've been nothing but wrong. Okay. Um, Go for it, right? I believe that, I mean, obviously, the trick is the one that you've seen, which is, oh, I'm making it look like I'm piercing this balloon, you but I'm to not. And I think they do something by going into the... Into the nipple? Into the navel? Just try it, though, just like, slowly. <laughs> Go quick. Go quick, but slow. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to ask, what, what? is there anything special about the needle and the balloon? Like, is there anything like a, is this balloon a trick balloon? Does the tip of the needle actually touch the balloon at any point? That's a good one. Does the tip of the needle actually touch the balloon at any point? Yes. See? Did um, that get you further? <laughs> it could touch it here, the part that's not holding air. See, I think if you just go slow enough. Uh, you maybe, know what? There maybe there's glue on the end. I know of what it, it is. Th this this the part right here has see, the stuff that keeps it together. Yes. That's yes. what it is. I can see it now that I see it. So it's, so you need to go slow, but you gotta get right on it. I'm I'm right on the nipple. Right on that. I'm shaking. This is it. This is it. Because it's got glue like built into the end. It's a trick balloon. No, I think it's just the rubber is. No, man, that's is, a trick the balloon. rubber is mushier. It's a trick balloon, man. You can't just get a balloon from like Party City and do this trick. It'll, and it's just gonna give. It'll just give. You can just do it. Just push it through. Just push it through. I'm pushing. Yeah, that's it. I need you. I need you. So asking it. I need you is to this, help. Is this a trick balloon? Actually, would have gotten us to the answer. It's not. I swear, it's not a trick balloon. It's just how balloons work. I'll give this to you for free. It's not a trick balloon. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe that's just a trick right there. That's pretty it. cool. I what's can happened. see it about to puncture. Like, uh, I'm, twi I'm twisting it. So you do that, and then you ask somebody, and you say, "Less than thirty Stop seconds." Pulling. Why are you pulling? I'll give you this one for free. Is that the pointy end of the needle? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You wouldn't think it is. <laughs> 10 seconds. I didn't. There's not enough air in the balloon. Uh, more air. Five, four, three, no, 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 two, no, no, no. one, yes! time. Yes, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Now pull and it out. I just punctured my hand. Now pull it out. Okay, I'm gonna give you a, uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna give you a few more seconds to fully complete the trick there uh, it is. because you Look you didn't quite fully complete it. There's a hole. Um, Robert, you wanna you wanna take this one? Absolutely. We take the needle and it goes through. Well, that was wow. faster. Oh. All the way through the balloon. That is the magic trick. Now you it, you have to be very careful because it's a needle. So we did first. half the magic trick. Yeah, I mean. You did half, you were right there. So you yeah. can keep going through the top for the same reason you can go through the nipple. Correct. The reason it works is because it is the thickest on the latex at the top and the bottom. The the, the whole balloon the, is a tube. The nipple and the navel. It's just, it stretches everywhere, but the least we'll blow another one on up the and nipple. Let's do it. Okay. Yes, kind of once you there go through, go. it starts to go a little bit faster. But the second you do that, you would then go, just like this. Just like that, yeah, it's not it, dangerous at all. It took forever for us to figure out something that I said right at the beginning we should do. Just but, saying. But you guys did a great job, so I'm, I'm just gonna subtract one point. I think I think you almost had it. Just it one great. point? Okay. Yeah, now great. we can reset emotionally. Okay, look what I found. There's a Sprite. Empty. But there's something interesting about it. It was emptied by a beaver. There's a big old hole at the back bottom, which I bet you're not supposed to see. We also have this long tube. Which fits perfectly oh, into the hole. Is that? This is a, actually, this is a. a sprite pipe. Uh, it's a, it's a, yeah, a Sprite pipe. Give, give it a little Gandalf. Uh, okay. Here's a string. The string can also go directly into the hole. Oh yeah, well, that's tempting. Oh, look, it di it's dancing around it. What if you sucked on the bottom of the hole? I gladly would. Could you suck it? Oh, 
I've seen. A, <laughs> I thought that was the final moments of your life. I've seen a dog poop and one of these laughing. out before. Oh. And we have. How a, did that go so fast? A wrinkly one dollar bill because I'm a sucker uh, for magic. Okay, uh, man, this is thoroughly wet now. <laughs> The whole thing. How far did it get back? Did it get to the to the to the uvula? It actually wrapped around my tongue a little bit. It was <laughs> oh, weird. Good. Uh, man, there's it's so French many tricks man. that can happen with this. I, we got to get rid of. We got we got to get rid of an item. We, we, this, we, this would go in there, right? Mm -hmm. This is that's how you deposit your money at the bank. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Let's lose. Dollar. Let's lose an item. What, what, what's a decoy item? Yeah, you don't need that dollar bill. It's yeah, gone. Okay, all right. It's only another point to get rid of the other thing. I think this is a decoy. I think all drinks are decoys for magicians. You know what I think it is? For the amount of time it was in your mouth, it sure got saturated. Yeah, I know, man. I think half of it was your your blow juice and the other oh, half God. was mine. <laughs> no, you were sucking, I wasn't blowing, I was just holding the pipe, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, but there's a, If there's I was like blowing a, and you were sucking, you'd be dead now. If this is a, a, a magical camera trick, like, like a TikTok trick, it would just be, I'll be holding this. And oh, I'll oh, go like oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. I'll be like. That's, this is it. This is the trick. You've got it figured out. We don't need the string. Uh huh. Ho, ho, ho. This is an internet magician trick. Oh, look, it's a pipe. Yeah, See, but is, you didn't know that. This is internet magician trick. So you got I mean, guys, you're. That's it. it. You're doing it in a way that is unique to you. Um, <laughs> yeah, the face he's making. I, I'm gonna give it to you, Robert. Do you want to show him? You know the the not the the real the way? normal person yeah, way. The yeah, normal exactly. Person way. The normal person way. It's right under your arm. Then you have a little bit more control of it. You could probably. Turn it if you wanted to. Whoa! You could turn it that way. Now you do that choke. while choking on string. Okay. As long as you don't get your blow juice in my mouth, I'll be okay. <laughs> is it legitimate magic if you have to be lined up with a camera? Yeah, it's TikTok magic. It is, a, it is a different category of magic that has evolved in the last 10, 15 years, uh, which is really fun and creative to kind of see what they're doing. It's like a, it's like a sprite massage. It's true. <laughs> what, I mean, what's it called? What are we calling it? Uh, the unofficial name is How Can It Be? How Can It Be? <laughs> okay. We want to make sure that you do not miss out on one of the most unique collectible items we created for the society today. Our original comic book, Blood Oath, Red Link versus the Global Lovemaking Crisis. That's right, he said the Global Lovemaking Crisis. This is only available to third degree members of the Mythical Society. And you know what? Did, 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 did. There's two covers. You don't know which one you're going to get. Same story, two different covers. Yeah. But you got to join third degree monthly by January 31st or third degree quarterly or annual by March 31st to get your copy. Okay. This is a creative labor of love and uh, collaboration between us and Fantoons. Uh, we came up with a with an, um, <laughs> a really fun story, kind of wild, kind of over the top, a little sexy, and uh, <laughs> it was illustrated masterfully by uh, the team at Fantoons. So uh, you're gonna want this. MythicalSociety.com for forever. The details. Throw that over there safely. All right. What do we have here for our final round? We have a. Piggy bonk. We have one quarter. We have a rubber band. Oh, how are we gonna get that out? We have a glass. We have uh, a floppy rubber square. Rubber? This feels like it's definitely necessary. This is for the trick. This is too, uh, too much utility. To it's too much specificity. Just rubber squares. We have some, um, a glue stick. Rubber band. And the quarter. Okay. Now we can use all of our lifelines and still win. But it, we can win even if we don't get this right. We can have well, We points. can't let that happen though. We gotta get the trick right to win. I wouldn't feel right about that. If we use all the lifelines, in order to win, we have to get it right in your opinion, Stevie. Cool. Yes. Yeah. All right, well first, before but we will you, pr let's predict. I feel like the piggy bank is definitely not needed. I me, feel me like too. this has got something to do with it. Can we get rid of the piggy bank for a point? Yeah, get rid of that piggy yeah, bank. See, it so, just felt like it. This is what's gonna happen. 
I'm gonna press down on the corner, I'm gonna do something like that, and then the quarter's gonna end up inside the glass. Can we get rid of the glue stick? I agree. Yep, get rid of it. Hi! <laughs> yeah, you can't trick the tricksters. Cause you I, can't, you can try. I just don't think people would, I can't see magicians use it. I mean, you work with glue sticks much, Robert? Yeah, not on the table, but yes. Oh, you do? <laughs> Magic is just arts and crafts sometimes. I would have expected there to be two, two quarters. quarters. So there's one that pops down in there at some point. And that, that sound is what you want. You want the sound. Let's just try it. Maybe if you just push hard enough. Yeah, be, be magical about it. Now, as you can see, I have a glass with a rubber square on the top. You gotta give details. They call this like a this. magician's condom. Uh, <laughs> I think it's more of a dental dam, but. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, what are you gonna do? There's, there's, there, you can't, it can't be done. I mean, all right, what's the name of this trick? Currency through. Yeah, so. We learned nothing that we didn't already know. It's the currency is going through the, the rubber. Is there anything special about this rubber? There's nothing to cut the rubber with, except maybe your teeth. Ah, uh, I think the piggy bank was a suggestion for a slit that we need to put into it. A slit. Do we have more rubbers? <laughs> How are you gonna put a slit in it? With my teeth, you're the one who said it. <laughs> I think you'd get it tight enough. Is it, this is part of the trick. You gotta make this part of the trick. How are you gonna explain this to the audience? I'm not. You got to. It's a tiny little hole. The kids can't see it. Pay no attention to myself chewing at, at on the, this rubber. At the place where I do my magic, there's like a barrier between me and the children. <laughs> and it's like, watch my part, say watch my partner while I, you be chewing on this? Just say, watch my magical partner who has a secondary. Watch my partner. And then. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, magic it Watch up. my partner while I chew on this dental dam, kids. As you can see, pigs do fly. Woo, did you see that? And then. <laughs> back to you, partner. I'm done. Okay, see, <laughs> that is how you do it, right? Uh, We're like Siskel and Ebert, man. Thanks, partner. Okay. Oh, stay behind the stay behind the barrier, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> What's Johnny coming for you for? I don't know. It's curious. Oh no, but let me see if I can get the quarter through that. We gotta have a yes or no question. Johnny? <laughs> okay, does it require uh, yeah, yes or no question? Does it require put actually breaking the membrane? Is that the official does question? You wanna talk about it? Does, does it, it require, require breaking, breaking the membrane? The membrane? It does not require breaking it. Dang it, Johnny. Can't, I think we can ask another yes or no question. Only get one. You only get oh, one. Oh, we don't? But you know what, Let you know what? I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you a free hint. Push harder. Ha! That's I think, first of all, make it tighter. You, this is, you, you gotta make it, really, it's hard to make it tight. And, I'm gonna hold it tight. But there's, we're partners, so. That's pretty tight. I think if you hold it really tight on the Inspect side. Inspect the quarter, is this, uh, uh, you sir, we've never met before. Is this a real quarter? Yes. And I think don't push it the flat end, you gotta put it in like a piggy bank. And hold the sides of the thing. Uh-huh. As you can see, can you see that this this is indeed a an actual rubber surface? Yes. Uh -huh. And it's special. And then if I were to. Yep. I've seen David Blaine do this with his hand. Like seriously, I was this close to David Blaine and he put but, a freaking needle through his hand. It was a needle, it was a little different. He didn't put a quarter through his hand. Yep, yep, yep. Push harder, she says. Oh. Okay. Johnny? I think maybe you have to sharpen the corner. Like while your partner is getting ready, you're sharpening the quarter with your teeth. And then, here you go. As you can see, this is clearly a membrane that no man should be able to get through. <laughs> Johnny, your parents are super rich. It's your 13th birthday, and we've been paid to be here and to wow you with a quarter going through a membrane. 
Okay, yeah. One minute. Don't don't cover it up with your hand. Be proud of it. Yeah. Don't look away, Johnny. <laughs> don't take a bathroom break now, Johnny. <laughs> Why is it scary? <laughs> Why am I scared of this? There's a life lesson in here, Johnny. Oh. Johnny, sometimes it's hard to save your money. <laughs> you have all the intentions of saving. But you just can't seem to let go of that money. 10%'s all you need, and you'll be a trillionaire one day. 15 seconds. Sometimes you just have to. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Five, Sometimes you have to four, saw it. Three. I can't even get How did you get it through at all? I can't one. get it through. Oh, I made a little hole. Too late. Okay. I mean, valiant that was effort, tough. but. Uh, Robert, let, let's see it's how it's really done. So you were right, there's the uh, the quarter on top of the uh, the rubber, the latex right there. Exactly how you have it. Uh, you're putting too much pressure. You see, you just it's just one finger. What? And it goes in. <laughs> you can see that, that there's no hole, no hole in that at all. Yet the quarter has disappeared. But the, I think there was a hole, there was a slit. There was there's, a piggy bank slit in the latex, was there not? There's not. So one of what? my favorite things about this, this was invented by a magician named Luber Fielder many years ago. Um, Luber Fielder? Luber Fielder, I know. Um, and he's I got still a, don't understand. It's a happening. wonderful principle that he discovered. I thought you Fielder, then you Luber. A wonderful principle we discovered using uh, rubber latex. Um, if you take a coin. It's already on the other side, isn't it? It is, just like Stevie said, if you push the latex yes. or the rubber will work its way around the quarter. Oh! Yeah, it's already And because on it's the, uh, uh, the silver of the quarter is so shiny, uh, it doesn't look like there's a real green tint to it. Oh my we goodness. We lost our rubber band, but. Shiny? I mean, look How at that. satisfying. Can you believe that? It's just gonna be. It's on the other side. It's, it's incredible. It's such an interesting thing. We're having thing, trouble with the easy uh, part. How that works. And I think it's a wonderful, beautiful principle of magic that you guys are experiencing. Hey, Johnny, you wanna save just a quarter a day? Keeps the IRS away. <laughs> Whoa, that's still pretty impressive. And as you can see, no piggy slit. No piggy slit. Can you come up with another term? <laughs> Uh, okay. But we lost, didn't we? Did, we? we? We didn't do Let's it. Let's see the mystery boxes to see what we could have won. We set the bar a little too high. Oh. So we, we could have chosen either one of these, but now we're not getting. <laughs> <laughs> That's oatmeal in mine. I don't know. <laughs> there's oatmeal in mine. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, oatmeal. Yep. It's, it's Johnny Vomit. Yep. That's what we were going to win. <laughs> oh, now that's it's what punishment. we deserve. All right. Big thank you to Robert, the magi party magician. The magician party. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming in today, man. If you'd like to add a little magic to your own life, you got to follow Robert at Rob Ram Magic on Instagram or visit his website, robramagic.com. Is that right? That's right. That is correct. Yeah. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. You just got oatmeal right there. Hi, I'm Lainey. And I'm and we're in Seattle, Washington, and we're in a hot tub boat. <laughs> and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> I mean, it is something to get excited about. I <laughs> yeah. gotta tell you, a hot tub boat. Even that excited, Click, I, I yes. agree. Click the top link to watch Robert teach us some sleight of hand tricks in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going. Join Third Degree Monthly by January 31st or quarterly or annual by March 31st to get Mythical's first ever comic book. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.